Ah, Santa Barbara County line. Looks like I'm on Route 150. Not that I was completely lost before. I was just following my sun direction using the sun as my dad used to teach me to to find my approximate way out of Ojai because there was um, there was a detour on the main road. You couldn't use it. So. Looks like I got here by a hook or by crooks. They say that there's going to be no way to get up Route 101 after I get down to the ocean. So I'll just have to take it from there. This is kind of like go with the flow, isn't it? It's kind of like navigation in 3D rather than 2D, you know? Like I could imagine an airplane plane pilot or a galactic commander uh, arranging for navigation through three-point space, or even more so, trying to find your way without, with just the sun to guide you. 192. I think this might do it. This is a way to get around that roadblock down there by the ocean, I hope. We'll see. I, I just don't know where 192 goes. Uh, it's kind of like navigating timelines, you know, because, um, you can do anything with timelines, really. You can. It's not like following a lo one road to another road. It's things splitting off and spinning and re-coordinating and backtracking and moving forward much faster than the speed of light and reconnecting at a different time or in a different dimension. A lot of it has to do with trusting our ascension teams because the information for navigation of timelines and dimensions is just not available in a grounded state. And that's good because people who seek power or who seek to preserve uh, uh, territory or uh, that kind of thing might might make use of it down here if they had the ability, if they had the knowledge, but they don't. The, the ability and the knowledge lie with those of our team members who are not grounded and who are in an expanded state of consciousness and it is they that we ask to optimize our timelines and our dimensions. Luckily it works out all right. It takes understanding, I think, as they sometimes say, that we are not alone. Understanding that the universe itself cooperates with us if we align with God. If we accept the health that's offered, even though we can't see it, the invisible forces will be optimally aligned by the invisible forces that are here to help us and teach us. So.